they came up easier indoors. Take an animal, put it out in the natural sunlight. It just becomes a different animal. You have to start all over again. Yeah, the tail's coiled. Exactly, Matt. You're learning. You're learning. You're okay. <laughs> Look at her. She's pulling it out. I'm going to I'm gonna actually get up here. I'm going to stand up here, and I'm just going to relax. Her love language is a uh, gift. Mine's cuddling. What's your love language, people? We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Cody Lyon. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Hey, what's going on guys? Let's go on into the sun catcher cage here. It's Lulu's house. Um, I did a little bit of work, nothing too major, uh, but I wanted to hang out with the croc monitors today and just, again, acclimate myself. Uh, she is over there. Yes, that's right. There she is. And she has, she keeps that one eye on us at all times. She is blind in the other eye. So we just want to say hello to her. Hi girl. I like to talk to her and let her know I'm right here. Hi, sweetheart. We're just saying hello. Now she's not going to be happy about this because she's, unfortunately her bad eye is going to be facing us. So she keeps that eye right to us. There you go. Oh, I don't want to get whipped. Oh, there you go. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to hurt you at all. I'm just saying hello to you. But it's just a, it's just a beautiful animal, man. She's doing good. Um, let's see if she'll come over here. Come on. Yeah, the tail's coiled. Exactly, Matt. You're learning. You're learning. You're okay. <laughs> you, you actually decided to move a little no, bit. No, I wanted to grab the camera. camera. So it. she, she basically just wants to put herself so she can see us. So I'm, I'm also wearing this hat. I don't think she's seen this particular hat. She may not like my cowboy hat. I don't know. But I, again, I'm just kind of hanging out. But what we're looking at, she's a little nervous. Um, and here's the thing, like so many people, I'm, I know I've mentioned this in videos before. She was actually in an indoor setup in, uh, at um, Alejandro's house. Uh, they tame up easier indoors. They'll tame up, they'll be calmer indoors. They have a smaller enclosure. They feel a little bit more secure. Um, once you take an animal, monitor lizard, I don't care if it's a bearded dragon, uh, you put them back outside under natural sun, bigger enclosure, it, they reset. Not all the time, but a good portion of the time, uh, you talk to any keeper down here in Florida, take an animal, put it out in the natural sunlight, it just becomes a different animal, you have to start all over again. So, you know, whether that be Inky that I got from Nerd, who was tamed, once I put her outdoors, not tame anymore. It's nothing I did. I just put her outside. Um, and I prefer to keep these animals outside. Obviously, living here in Florida, it's, uh, you know, the best part about living here. So it's now been a few months. You'll notice that um, there's not a lot of leaves on my uh, philodendron plants anymore. I had taken them down because I wanted to water them. I had to water them by hand. I didn't put any sprinkler system in here. And um, the rabbits ate all the leaves off of them. So I got to start over again. But I did put some uh, poly tube uh, sprinklers. So they fill up, they drip down. Uh, we get some mist for our little uh, monstera plant down here. So as we progress here, and what, what's really good is you'll hear there's actual rain happening right now, which is nice. It has not rained in over a month here in Florida. So here she is. She's looking good, but she's still nervous. She is shedding, which is nice. Uh, they've all been eating so well. Um, but we haven't really had a breakthrough between her and I as far as trust is concerned at the moment. So again, these videos are just, I do them periodically because I want you guys to see what I do. This is it. I'm just hanging out in here. I'm not touching her. I'm just relaxing. I want her to get used to me. The cool thing is, is I have seen her starting to use all the branches. She's been sun uh, bathing over in that corner, which is nice also. So she's not just isolated to this one spot. Um, maybe eventually I'll build another um, little kind of tiki shelf for her, but we've got that nice Universal Rocks water bowl right down there. Um, that's on an automatic overflow. It's really good. Um, she hasn't had to use her box because thankfully we are now, I don't think we're going to get any more cold nights. I mean, it isn't unheard of in March, but I think we're out of the woods as far as winter is concerned. But yeah, there is our gal. Oh, look who's coming over to say hello. He hears my voice. It's good old Slinky. Uh, he's coming up to say hello. We, what we really want is for her to become like him. 
Um, but anyway, again, just relaxing, letting her do her thing. Um, beautiful, beautiful lizard. Trying to be calm and relaxed with her and learn from my buddy Tom Crutchfield. Just spend time with her and I'll, I'm going to allow her to kind of tame herself up, if that makes sense. So it's just a matter of time. But she's beautiful. I love Lulu. Yeah, Good girl. Got Slinky right here. Yeah, Slinky's right down there. How cool is that, guys? Two lizards in one shot. Uh, all right, let's move on. I want to go see Diamond and Chase. Um, but I just thought I'd give you guys... Uh, check this out, by the way. This is kind of interesting. So here's all her scat. If you get down real close, you can actually see some of the fur. So, you know, we've been feeding her rodents. We've been feeding feathers as well. I think we got some down, that's fur, but there is down feather in there as well. So they make these pellets. It's filled with urates um, and you can kind of see, uh, this is what they do. They just kind of poop it out. It kind of winds up on the forest floor. And uh, if it were in the wild, it would just get put back into the ecosystem there. Let's go ahead and shut this. So I've got locks on all my cages for a couple of reasons. One being I don't want anyone to steal these animals. Uh, and two, I really just want to make sure no one steals these animals. Uh, but we are, uh, we've been knock knock on, on wood, been doing really well with that because we have put into place a few other security measures which are awesome. Uh, that I'm not going to share with you guys. All right, Slinky's here. I love that we're getting a little bit of this rain. Let's go on over and see Diamond and Chase. Um, I was able to get some really cool footage of um, Diamond and Chase. I, I had a really awesome, we're going to be real calm when we go in yeah. here because he's, oh, they're all he is in a very Ooh, chill he's got spot a very right fat now. stomach. Oh yeah, these guys have recently eaten a lot, Matt. So um, the female, the story I was telling you is I gave diamond or rather chase a uh, big squirrel so we got a little bit of a situation here i gave the adult male this squirrel and the female came over and is uh trying to get some of it as well so i'm gonna keep an eye on him and make sure nothing bad happens let's just see i want them to shred this but she's not strong enough to pull away from him at the moment but let's see if she's smart enough to let go when she uh, should, because he'll just keep eating. My guess is she's gonna get a little piece off the backside of that uh, animal, of that squirrel. Very strong, beautiful lizards. I'm really not that worried. There she goes, she's pretty smart. Oh, there, that's a better place to get it in the belly, I guess. She can get some belly fat. Look at her, she's pulling it out. She just stole it from the big boy. And she grabbed it and he let her have it. So he's a really nice guy. Here's some more scat. Look at that, that's a fresh scat right down there. So that's cool. That's got the white stuff is urates. Um, that's how they secrete um, their urine. Okay, so we got the white and then of course there's the feces. So it's kind of like their uric acid and feces. It comes out as one thing. You'll also notice, check it out. Uh, Fluker sent me their cocoa fiber. So I went ahead and I spread bags and bags of it. I had so many bags of this cocoa fiber. Oh, watch your head, dude. You all right? Uh, that hurts. Um, anyway, so much for being calm around these yeah. guys. Um, but anyway, um, let's go over. I'm just going to kind of walk over here. You can stay right where you are, and I'm just going to relax. Now, the thing that I've noticed with these guys is I have been developing a little bit more of a rapport with uh, at least um, Chase. He's allowing me to get closer and closer. Uh, you saw the video where Tom had his face, you know, right there. Um, but yeah, his eye, I'm looking at his eye. His pupil is a little bit big, but we're just gonna relax. You just, I want you to hang back a little bit because he doesn't normally interact with two people at a time. So I'm just gonna hang out here. And um, what I might do, Matt, Try just give me one your... second. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually get up here I'm going to stand up here and just see how he behaves and I'm just going to relax and not kind of make eye contact and just relax. And so you see, there is 
definitely some trust beginning to build between us, which is good. The other thing I've noticed is since it has not been cold in quite some time, I haven't had to put hands on these animals to put them inside the box. I've not been worried about it. So generally what that means is that they start to calm down. They don't really want to be handled. Um, when they do, they'll let you know. Just like uh, Crutchfield's got those beautiful croc monitors, they come over and they seek interaction. What I'm trying to do is begin to build that. So right now his eye looks a little bit nervous, his tongue's not flicking, so he's just like, what are you doing? You're talking, you got this new hat on. Um, what exactly is going on here? Who is that other person? Yeah, exactly, who's the other person? So it's, um, it's a little bit new, but I just like the fact that he hasn't um, moved or recoiled or done anything. And that's what this is about. So many times I get questions, how do you tame your lizards? How do you tame your lizards? I really don't. I just kind of hang out in the enclosures. I allow the enclosures to be large enough uh, that I can occupy the space also, um, that the animals uh, can feel secure in them. Um, and you know, he's kind of up on his perch and I think that's good. Um, we're eye level, I'm not towering over him. That's another way to give this animal um, a lot of, um, a, you know, security. They like to be high up. So we're doing good. Look, I'm just going to put my hand. Let's say I'll move my hand over here. Um, this but, is the chillest I've ever seen. Though. Yeah, he's it's definitely, you know, the other day, I think he's, he's also realizing that I come in and I bring food. So it's a pleasurable experience with uh, both of them. You see how fat her belly is? I don't know if you yeah, can kind of notice that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, pointing out. right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this and show you just how fat she is. You see her? So Diamond is really fat. She has eaten a full squirrel. And I actually have some B-roll from my iPhone that we can drop in um, so you guys can watch it, but it's pretty cool. Um, so she was eating that. I, I haven't posted it on my other social media platforms. I think it's actually cool to just drop into this video because you can kind of see the interaction that he had with her. He originally got it, she grabbed onto it. Um, there was a little bit of a tug of war, but it turned out that he just was like, all right, you want it, you got it, you're my gal. So he gave it to her. And you know the way to a woman's heart is giving her gifts. That's her love language. Um, basically, her love language, diamonds that is, is uh, gifts. Yeah. Mine's cuddling. I like to cuddle. Uh, some people like words of affirmation. I like food. What do you like? Food. food. Okay, okay, very good. So what's your love language for people? We need to center ourselves and just really come to understand what we need emotionally and spiritually. This would be the perfect moment for just a candid attack from It would be Chase. his love language. Uh, Chase's love language is murder. I'm just kidding. Um, but he's, he's looking good. I think we're, I think we're doing well. Um, again, it's, you know, these videos are just to point out the, um, that, that this is not just, you know, these animals are not just props in my life. These are animals that I spend time with, even when the camera's not rolling. So I don't document every single thing, but when I feel like we've made a little bit of a breakthrough, um, I would like to highlight that. But I've been doing this now for a little while, um, and I've noticed the last maybe two or three times I've been in here, um, it's been a little bit more relaxed. That being said, look at his eyes. His eyes are alert. Uh, he's looking at me but he has not changed his body posture at all. And that's, that's very good. So I'm pretty happy about this. Um, hasn't flicked his tongue out as we know when hanging out with Kevin McCurley from Nerd, when monitors are flicking that tongue, they're curious because they want to know what's going on. So they're flicking that tongue. But um, I still think that this is a, a good scenario. So we're just gonna hang out a little bit longer and just marvel in the fact that I've got these three beautiful croc monitors here. And I want to thank Alejandro um, for this gift uh, of giving them a beautiful place to live and him giving that gift uh, of the animals themselves. I'm really happy because I do love the croc monitors. I think they're fascinating. I'm not so sure how long, uh, how much longer we'll be able to keep them here in Florida because there are there's new legislation uh, coming down the pipe and uh, these animals, as we know, uh, get vilified um, because they are different. They are mysterious to most people.
and unfortunately there's a prejudice against these animals and that's why this channel exists and that's why I hope that my friends watching this all of you out there will help spread the word uh, that even though these animals can be formidable and they can be an animal that can inflict injury um, they are also highly intelligent and they are also deserving of our respect and admiration and if you are going to keep these animals in captivity they deserve the absolute best possible husbandry you can give them so um, that's where we're at guys here is our croc monitor update um, could it be happier uh, and again it's you know after this uh, interaction I'm just gonna back away and let them do their thing. I'm not going to try and put hands on them. I'm not going to try anything like that at all. Did you have a question, Matt? You're good? He's shaking his head no. Sometimes Matt likes to ask questions. I think that's good because sometimes Matt is uh, some of the novice viewers. And uh, you said you might have one. Well, in? we also, I think we come in here sometimes a little quick when right. we're in the middle of another episode and they're startled probably due to your loud voice coming from yeah. Slinky and me kind of running over with exactly. you. Exactly. This time we creeped up slowly quietly open the door walk in and it's a lazy uh warm afternoon and they're well fed they are well fed at the moment so uh, he ate about 10 little baby chicks she had that one squirrel i did not think she would be able to just finish that, that, that thing up but there you have it everybody i am not going to raise my voice as i say goodbye right now i'm going to keep it at this monotone thing um, i'm going to go ahead and take off i want you guys to enjoy one final look at the tree crocker, the croc monitor from Paul Play. See you guys. Ferrari Salvadora. Oh, Salvadora. Salvadora.